Hi, I'm AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch my video. If you're not a current subscriber and not a member of the Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. All right, it's almost 2020. And what I can say about the past 10 years, especially dealing with investments, is that it is so easy to get started with investing now. Even just 10 years ago, there were only a handful of options that most of you might have heard about as far as investing in the stock market. You know, you can go to big banks like Charles Schwab, uh, Scott Trade, which was actually bought out by TD Ameritrade. And then TD Ameritrade is rumored to be being bought out by Charles Schwab now. And then you had E-Trade. You, of course, had JP Morgan and Chase, Goldman Sachs. These are the big companies that you've heard about where you could actually go invest your money. And even with those, the discount brokers like E-Trade and TD Ameritrade, where you could buy stocks for, for a fee of about five or $10, in addition to the cost of you actually paying for the stock, now you can actually buy stock for free of no charge. So you can buy stock in companies that you love, in companies that you believe in, or in the total stock market as a whole via an index fund and an ETF. You can do that for literally less than $100 now. In fact, there are many platforms where you can buy fractional shares or partial shares where you literally may only need a dollar or $10 in order to buy a stock. Now, despite this ease of use and us having the mobile applications where we can start getting invested, us millennials at least, uh, we have a lot of student loan debt as a whole, as a group. And that student loan debt has prevented many people from being able to purchase homes, having that extra money that they can use to actually invest, or feeling like they don't have enough money to invest because they may not have thousands of dollars that they can invest at one time. And the statistics show that only about 30% of millennials actually invest anything at all. And we're way below what baby boomers were investing when they were at our same age group or at the same age range that we're at currently. And so as part of my channel, what I wanna do is one, I wanna encourage people to invest in the stock market because it's one of the simplest ways to actually build wealth in the US. And there's no barrier to entry. The only barrier is you yourself, one, having the money, trying to find a way to make money so that you can have money to invest, controlling your budget so that if you have money, you're not wasting it away with things that you don't really need. And then once you have that money that you can put aside, it is so easy to get invested and you can literally start right now. So the same amount of time that it would take for you to sign up for a social media account or sign up for some new game or app that you download, you can set up a brokerage account and you can start investing in the stock market today. If you've seen my previous video where I talked about fractional share investing, there are a host of companies where you can actually go and buy parts of a company. So you can put just a dollar in a stock like Amazon, which is around $1,800 per share right now. So in the past, in order to invest in a company like Amazon or Google or another company that's like Berkshire Hathaway, that their shares cost a lot of money, you'd have needed to buy at least one full share in order to invest in those companies. But that's no longer the case. And you can check out that video where I go into more detail about fractional share investing with companies like M1 Finance and SoFi Invest, Public, which was formerly known as Matador, and now even Cash App and StockTwits, they both have their own investment app. But now there's a totally new way to invest. And this is what I really wanna talk about in this video. Not only can you invest in the stock market for less than $100, you can literally invest in the stock market without putting any of your own money into the market. In fact, this is probably the most passive way that you can invest in the stock market. People talk about passive income all the time and sometimes it's not as passive as you really think. Like real estate, there's, when you invest in real estate, if you're not doing it yourself, you have someone going out and looking up the properties. If you're actually managing it yourself, you're managing the tenant, you're collecting the rent, you're doing the maintenance or you're calling someone to handle the maintenance. So the passiveness or the level of passiveness of that income really varies depending on what the type of asset that you're actually investing in. So the reason I say this is the most passive that I can think of 
other than someone just giving you money without you doing anything is because you actually invest in the stock market by spending money. And so this is very similar to what you would get with a rewards program with your credit card. You know, they have cashback rewards, they have points reward systems where you get points towards flights or you can get discounts on flights. Uh, you have loyalty programs where maybe if you shop at Starbucks and you shop there a lot, once you order a certain dollar amount, you'll get a free item. Now this works in the exact same way. You still go to these stores and you're spending the money that you would normally spend. Of course, you don't wanna spend more just just to get this into these investments and I'll talk about how you can do that but if you just do your normal spending at specific stores that are available within these applications you will actually instead of getting cash back or getting points you can receive stock back as a percentage of the items that you're buying and there are two companies out there there's one called bumped and there's one called bits of stock now these are the only two that I'm aware of but what you can do is let's say you go to Starbucks a lot and you're not gonna stop going to Starbucks, you've made this part of your budget, you're okay with spending that money at Starbucks, and you're also already investing in the stock market, either through your retirement accounts with your 401k, maybe your HSA, or maybe just directly through a normal taxable brokerage account. What you can actually do is you can set up your credit card or your debit card to connect with these applications and it'll take a look at the transactions that you have with the certain stores that they have relationships with or the companies that they have relationships with and based on those companies that you choose if you choose to have starbucks as the company where you can get your rewards at not only will you get cash back if you're using a credit card that gives cash back or a credit card that gives points it doesn't negate any of that. So in addition to those rewards points or those rewards cash back, you can also get stock back in these companies as well. And I'll show you how this is done in both of the applications, but this is a really great way and probably the simplest way that you can actually invest in the stock market. Because even with the fractional shares, you still have to put your own money, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. With this, you're literally just spending the way that you would normally spend and maybe deciding that, okay, I'm always gonna buy gas at Shell or Exxon or Chevron or whatever company you buy gas from. And you're gonna stick to that company because maybe you don't have the option to choose between multiple different companies. And I'll get into more of that detail because these two apps, they, they take the approach a little bit different. So one of the applications, you have different categories and within each category, you can choose one company. So let's say the category is coffee. You can either choose Starbucks or you can choose Dunkin' Donuts or Caribou Coffee. And maybe you have uh, grocery stores that you can choose from. And it may be Kroger or Albertsons. And then maybe with fast food, you'll have Chipotle, Burger King, Taco Bell, or a company like that. But you can only choose one in each category. So if you eat at Chipotle and you eat at Taco Bell a lot, you can't choose both with this one specific application. But with the other application, you can choose up to 15 different companies. So it doesn't matter the category, it's just whatever companies that they have available on their platform, you get to choose up to 15 companies. If you spend money with any of those companies, you can actually get stock back as a reward and it may be half a percent, one percent, two percent, maybe two and a half percent. You'll get that back as actual stock. So you get ownership into the companies that you're actually spending your money with. So this is a very cool way to get started investing in the stock market. And you literally don't have to put your own money in. As long as you're just spending the way you would normally spend with these companies, you will get stock back the same way you would with a fractional share investing platform like an M1 Finance or SoFi Invest, except you don't actually have to put money in the account. They give you the money based on a percentage of the money that you're spending with that company and you become a shareholder of the company that you're spending your money with. So I actually post a review of both Bumped and Bits. Make sure you check those out after watching this video. I'll have a link in the end screen as well as in the description and the comments down below. So check that out right after you watch this video and you can see how each of these platforms actually works. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you really like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Guys, have a great day.